Hey everyone, I'm super excited to announce that in Spaceflight Simulator 1.6, mods are now on mobile. So I want to talk to you about the first mod I'm releasing on mobile, which is this Apollo Saturn V work in progress mod I've had for quite some time. And if I pull it out here and I zoom in, hopefully this is going to work. Symmetry says it should be right there. Symmetry hates me. Okay. So in order to make this mod, we need to, uh, I'm just going to build the Saturn V here so you can see it. Uh, we're going to put that there and we're going to put that there. And then we're going to grab these two here. We're going to duplicate them. We're going to put them here because you need five engines. So part clipping is required uh, for this mod because, well, it needs it. Then we can build up this section here. Oh, that's too small. So I guess it's this section right here. There you go. And then here we are. And basically we can just build up the rocket uh, pretty quickly. This is a special spacecraft containment system. It's very similar to my utility mod pedal fairings and stuff like that, but it's designed specifically for the Saturn V. This all is designed to be um, Saturn V design. So we're pretty good on that one. And we're gonna go here, here, and here. And that is the rocket. Um, I currently do not have the spacecraft, the Apollo spacecraft, nor do I have the uh, lunar lander. That's why this is a work in progress, but I've updated it to work in Spaceflight Simulator 1.6 and we've tested it and it does work on the uh, Android phones that are running the 1.6 beta and later should run on 1.6 without any problem. Now, what we wanna do is go here and click here, 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 here. Uh, I missed this one, there you go. I do not know why that is that way. It might be because I changed the screen, but yeah, that should be fine normally. One second, there we go. Yeah, so there's the five engines just because it's a bit of a pain. The rest of it, you can just click through it and we're gonna launch this. And we are going to build ourselves a bit of a spacecraft because otherwise, um, what's the point? <laughs> so we're going to say, here we go. We're gonna launch this payload into space for no apparent reason other than saying, look what we did. And if we go to, I think it's under others. There we go. Oh, that's not gonna work. Put them here. Six wide. And we need an engine. Engines, engines, engines. He's gonna be in space, so let's put that guy there. And then we're going to just build a, I don't know, like again, you can build whatever you want um, for, for, for purpose sake to say, let's launch this into orbit just so that we can show you that this does actually work. It's going to tell me that there's no parachute, some other stuff, whatever, it doesn't matter. I'm going to click there, we're gonna hit 100% and we're going to go to orbit um, pretty darn fast. <laughs> At this point, I should probably mention that this is designed to be running on um, hard or realistic mode. Um, in regular mode, this is obviously really overpowered, but keep ignition on and throttle. We press this button here and it's going to eject the bottom section and give us a little boost. We press it again and it breaks off. That is how this works. And then we can turn on our engines here and continue our journey. Where are we? Oh, we are going to the moon badly. We are going very badly to the moon. But, yeah, whatever. There we go. Alright, we're going to warp here to the encounter, and then we'll slow down and uh, see what we're going to do around the moon. I don't know. It's, we're just having some fun here, but the idea being is I'm going to show you how this all works because everybody wants to know how this works because, uh, yeah. So basically, I'm going to turn off these engines. I'm going to turn ignition, throttle, all full. Oh, I didn't miss an engine. There we go. And then I'm going to hit this guy here. This is the next stage. It's going to actually uh, jet off like that. Um, obviously, that's full of fuel. And normally, you wouldn't do that, but it's not like we need the fuel at this point. We are well over what we need to be able to get to the moon and probably get to like 
Mars and back in regular mode. Uh, I'm interested to see how far people can push the uh, Saturn V uh, launch system to uh, put things, you know, all over the solar system in regular mode. But in realistic mode, this would get us to the moon and back barely, in theory. Um, I haven't done it too much yet because, uh, as I said, work in progress. As we uh, come up here and we're going to get to about right there. That's pretty good. And then we're going to... Okay, so there we are. We are in a uh, low moon orbit. So we're going to press this and this is going to open. And if we click here, there you go. Oh no, it detached. It's just dead in the water. Right, okay. Because that engine has no fuel source. Awesome. So it did work. Um, just not 100% as intended. And then we have this part here. And if you detach it again, it's going to release this little tiny satellite. And should we click here, switch to it? There we go. And we can use this expanding thing to get it to detach from the... Uh, oh, it exploded. And it exploded. No. Oh, well. Yeah, so this is it. It's a work in progress, but uh, it's available on 1.6, and I will be updating it uh, pretty soon. I just have to figure out the rest of the mods, but yeah, if you find any other little quirks, let me know, and uh, we'll go from there. Anyway, thanks for watching, and uh, yeah, links in the description for where you can get my mod packs, because uh, there's quite a few of them.